Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Quintessential Tarot. I'm glad you all could join me for another week of readings. So, I know it's been a minute since you've seen me. Um, lately, I've just been, well, lately on my channel, I've just had general videos and just different topics and things that would just come up or that I felt people needed to hear or be aware of. Maybe even just some things that I was going through personally and I just felt as if, well, maybe the collective is going through this energy as well too. So, all right, Queen of Wands and then the um, Star card. But um, those are good things, those are positive things. But for today, um, I'm just coming because I haven't been on camera in a minute and I wanted to see you all or have you all see me, I guess. And just to kind of just come and talk and just see what comes out in the reading. So this is going to be an all-purpose reading. So I know that a lot of people do enjoy the um, zodiac signs, but those can be a bit uh, consuming and I can be very long-winded right there. So we will uh, resume those. So don't worry, they're not all the way gone. But for now, I just kind of want to do um, like all-purpose readings. And in these all-purpose readings, that could be anything um, going on that you may need a bit of guidance with, whether it be your finances, your career, your love life, your personal relationships, anything of that nature. So whatever comes up, you know, that's just what we will talk about and that's what we'll discuss. So I have several decks here because I couldn't make up my mind which ones I wanted to use. So I just brought out a few just in case, um, you know, I felt inspired. So let's just see what comes out. Well, we have two cards that come out. So, all right. So we have the, uh, we have the four of cups in the reverse and then we have the knight of swords that comes out in the reverse too. So this feels to me as if some kind of, um, opportunity that, was refused or an opportunity that was maybe passed along or that was missed up in some way. Now it's, it's like the door is being open to it again. Like it's, it's okay. I'll say it this way. It may have been very challenging in the very beginning for whatever this opportunity was. And I feel as if this could be related to work or something right here. So, okay, we'll start off with uh, finances career right there. So whoever needs that a um, little bit. But this feels like some kind of door that may have been closed before or may have been very challenging to step into. Now it seems as if this opportunity is coming back around and it could have been because someone was being a bit uh, bullheaded <laughs> that popped into my mind. So whatever that means for whoever it's for, a bit bullheaded or maybe even just a bit stubborn with something. Or maybe they just weren't seeing the bigger picture or the bigger scope of something right there. And possibly they were just making it to be more challenging than what it really was. But now I think they're looking at things in a totally different way, a totally different perspective and just realizing that, wait a minute, maybe I was the one who was putting up the blocks or maybe I was the one who was making things a bit more um, daunting than what they needed to be, just kind of creating these obstacles because it feels as if whatever this energy is, now it's opened up an avenue of communication for people. So this could very well be someone who may have been butting heads with their boss or butting heads with their manager or supervisor or something or even just their co-workers. But because it does feel as if there was some kind of miscommunication or something right there. And I think this was somehow people kind of jumping the gun in a way, if that makes sense. But now it's like, okay, let's reel it in. Let's slow this down. Let's um, gather a cool head or collect cool heads, you know, about this. But that is what feels like it was going, what was going on with this. So if there has been some kind of um, door that was closed or that you felt was closed, maybe at a job or with a certain position or something, or maybe just even... Um, a new endeavor or a hobby that you were possibly even thinking about. Now it just seems as if, like I said, the challenge has been, um, it's not, the obstacles aren't there anymore, right there. Things have slowed down, um, you know, a bit. Ooh, but here we go with this uh, devil energy right here. So, you know what? 
The devil's not always a bad thing, okay? <laughs> the devil is not always a bad thing. Pretty much what I'm picking up from this because the energy of the devil or actually the spirit of the earth is one that vibrates, you know, with the devil. Now, listen, don't get me wrong before you shut me off, before you just call all the religious groups and everything and just... Um, talk about how much I'm blaspheming hear me out <clears throat> when I say that the devil is not always a bad thing the devil is something that motivates us it's something that pushes us it makes us want to do better it makes us want to um, improve our situations right there because think of it this way if we feel okay even just the representation of this card it's one that represents our fears, our worst fears, our insecurities, the things that go bump in the night, the things that keep us trapped, the things that keep us bound in hell. It could be people, it could be situations, it could be a mindset that we have right here. So what I'm saying is, and the earth is, the, and this is a very materialistic card. This is a card that represents Capricorn in the Tarot. Capricorn is an earth sign and Capricorn, you know, and generally all the pretty much all the other earth signs, Virgo and Taurus, and maybe that's why I said budding hairs in the beginning. Um, they're signs that deal with materialistic things, not saying that they have to be materialistic in their thinking or their views. They very well could be. But again, that kind of falls on the other spectrum of what this energy feels like. This is an energy that pushes us. This is one that motivates us. This is one that makes us want to do better, improve our situations wherever we are. So if there was indeed some kind of work situation which was shutting someone out or someone may be feeling as if they were being shut out or feeling as if they um, uh, didn't kind of fit in, now this is just saying, now let's motivate you to do something differently. Or let's motivate you to want to achieve something better. Because if this isn't working, then whatever else that you have going on or whatever else that you could possibly be thinking about, then that could be the one that works out for you. Because who wants to be in poverty? Who wants to be in fear? Who wants to um, have less money in their bank account? Not saying, again... We're not saying that materialism is everything. However, we do need a safety net. We need security. We need money. We need um, peace of mind. You know, we just need all these things to function properly, you know, for ourselves and for other people as well who may need us. So this is a motivator. This is what I'm saying. This is a motivator right here. So whatever it is that's been on your mind or whatever the new project, the new hobby that you have going on, allow this to be a motivator. Don't allow this to keep you trapped or keep you where you are if you feel that there is somewhere else that you need to be. So I hope I explained that um, very thoroughly and very, uh, you know, <clears throat> in a way that does not scare you. Six of Cups right here. So... This, I feel, is... This Six of Cups is, like, something from the past. So, this could be something that you have already been doing or something that you have been very familiar with um, right here. But sometimes the familiarity of things, that can sometimes get us in a rut as well and keep us trapped and keep us stuck, you know, right there. This could also be saying that this could be something that you... Um, learn that you've done time and time again uh, so you are very familiar with it however like I said familiarity um, it can keep us in a comfort zone you know right there it can keep us trapped you know in that uh, safety net so this is about thinking outside the box doing things a bit differently um, not allowing ourselves to stagnate Pretty much right there is what that is saying. So let's see. Yeah, because that just creates more burden. That creates more hard work. It puts more pressure. So the pressure may be on for someone to achieve something or do something. But 
as I said, this is a motivator. This is something that is going to kick us in the booty. This is something that is going to kick us. Um, you know, think of it this way. The baby bird has to leave the um, the nest at some point, right? The baby bird can't stay in the nest all the time for the mama bird to come back and feed it, for the parents to take care of it. Eventually, the baby bird has to take flight and fly, <laughs> you know, fly the nest, fly the coop, you know, right there with that. So that's what's going on. And this could be very um, scary. It could be very... Um, uh, mm, hurtful is the word that just popped into my mind too But when I think about hurtful Because again, looking at the Six of Cups It could be very well uh, Maybe leaving some things behind Or maybe leaving some people behind Especially if it's a job that you've been on for a while Or you've been there for a long time And you've kind of um, Grown accustomed to the people And formed different relationships and things but again, we want to just always keep the energies fresh and refreshed for what we're doing. So it could be very overwhelming with whatever is going on. So I said it's already a burden. It feels like pressure. But this seven of cups right here, this is also just saying how it can be very um, confusing, maybe a confusing time. But also what I'm picking up from this seven of cups is options you know options not having to do the same thing over and over or not having to do something the way that somebody else does it you could be very well doing what uh the same thing that somebody else is doing however the way in which you do it is the way in which someone may need it out there in the world or in your workspace or even for you just personally however it resonates in your life so you know and it's so interesting because i was i walked this morning to my chiropractor appointment and just took another little walk around the neighborhood before i came home for a minute and i saw you know two barber shops that were side by side so i said well that's interesting you know these two barber shops that are side by side and both of them you know, being very successful. So that's just, um, you know, that's just an indication of even though both of these places are side by side and they do the exact same thing, the people within each of these spaces has their own unique way of cutting hair or styling hair for their particular customers. So there's room for all of us there at the top. <laughs> so anyway that is good for the um career you know career finances so like i said just options right now things seem a bit heavy and things seem as if the pressure is on but the pressure is on in order to motivate so success is what i'm getting with this success is what i get um you know like i said you just have to sort out some things right now daily practice so developing like a routine or something, just becoming, the more you practice your new skills, the more comfortable and confident you become. As I said, you could be doing the same thing that someone else is doing, but it's all about the way in which you do whatever that particular thing is. Prosper exactly. Prosperity. Your actions have resulted in incoming, incoming abundance. So success, that is something that I picked up. That's the word that popped in my mind. Go out, do it, take the chance, take that leap of faith, whatever it is that you need to do, it will bring you good things, prosperity, abundance. But develop this, um, that mindset or develop that routine right there. So let's see. This one I want to do just general guidance. So, you know, just whatever comes up. Well, we can do the same thing. Whatever comes up in the reading. This is an all-purpose reading right here. So, all-purpose. It sounds like I'm um, developing some kind of cleaning product or something, huh? But, I mean, hell, maybe if me getting in front of this camera and speaking, maybe if it helps someone clean up something in their life, then, hey, it all-purpose served its purpose, right? So... Let's see. What else? What comes out in this reading? Prince of Pentacles. Prince of Pentacles. Prince of Pentacles. All right. And Ten of Swords. 
So, Prince of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. All right, so, something has been, okay, something's coming to an end. Something is coming to an end, but I feel as if someone is kind of dragging their feet and doing it. So, the tens, uh, the number 10 also, you know, it represents something that ends. But when we break down the number 10, we get the number one. The number one is renewing, refreshing, a brand new start, a brand new beginning, whatever that is. It's a do-over. The slate is wiped clean right there. So, this feels as if this is some kind of... Well, I don't know what it is, really. I mean, we'll just get on, you know, we'll read more into it and just see what happens. But with this Prince of Pentacles, it's very, um, it's, it's, it can be very slow moving um, energy right there because it wants to take its time in doing something. But I feel as if the more time that we're taking right here, the more time that we are delaying whatever this brand new start is or whatever is going on, this could very well be still be contingent upon uh, what we said before in the um, career, the money, the finances, you know, the job, you know, um, portion of what we said. So maybe this is just picking up on that energy right there. So you apply this energy wherever it goes in your life. Like I said, whatever is on your mind right now, whatever you're thinking about, whoever you might be thinking about, or even if it's just a situation that you're in, maybe this is about a move, um, like a physical move or some kind of um, move in the emotional space or spiritual or mental uh, space right there. But it's like someone is just kind of stuck in the mud a bit, <laughs> you know, could be a, a stick in the mud. I don't know. But someone's just kind of stuck in the mud or they're, they're feeling like quicksand. It feels a bit like quicksand right here. And I feel as if whoever this is or whatever this energy is, they might be slowly moving because they already see that, okay, we have to go through a time that is going to be challenging or there's something that's coming up that I have to do or someone that I have to face or someone that I have to confront or someone that I just have to talk to and it's going to be painful. So someone kind of knows that something is coming that is going to be a bit painful for them. So that's possibly why they are just um, dragging their feet with this conversation. Okay, funny I should say conversation. So maybe this does involve something that's professional or maybe it's personal right there. But someone is trying to just avoid the avoid the hurt right there. Avoid the hurt. But the hurt is inevit inevitable right here. But the thing is, the pain doesn't last for long. The pain will not last for long. Because, as I said, with this 10 right here, we get a number one. We get a new beginning with something. Here we go with the Six of Cups again right here and the Four of Swords. So Six of Cups, Four of Swords. So there will be a time when, um, you know, definitely some healing that is going on. Maybe a little bit of a retreat or so. Um, and this could very well be from some kind of past relationship or some kind of... Um, uh, person or something, you know, uh, from the past. So, uh, God, now as I was speaking, a thought was going through my head and now how did I want to say this? Okay. Let's just say after whatever goes on or whatever conversation or whatever needs to happen in this first energy, you know, when someone finally gets out of the mud right there, or out of the quicksand, and then they pretty much just bite the bullet or face the bullet then I feel as if it will be a period of just kind of retreating, maybe just needing to be in their own space or needing to heal from a situation. So that's what this Four of Swords is just talking about. It talks about doing a lot of healing, you know, just going through the pain, going through the hurt, but then needing to heal from something. So this very well could be something from the past. Like I said, some kind of past relationship or something, or memories as well too. I feel as if memories... That's interesting because now I'm picking up, we're dragging our feet with something, but eventually we have to go through whatever it is that we need to go through. 
But then in this space of kind of healing, it's like just kind of ruminating a bit. I don't feel as if it's a negative thing when I say ruminating, but just kind of reflecting. It's a moment of reflection. So someone's going to have a moment of reflection right here. Maybe that will have someone looking at something differently or having someone looking at something in a totally um, from a different angle, um, you know, right there. Hmm. Prince of Wands. Okay, that wanted to come up. Prince of Wands in the reverse. And then we have the Magician right here. So, this is about manifesting. This is about creation. This is about having a vision, um, you know, so to speak. So, <laughs> Not Mariah Carey, Vision of Love is coming, playing through my mind right there, whoever that's for. But with this magician energy right here, um, you know, what I pick up is now we need to, we've gone through all of this. We've been in this mode of reflection, of introspection, contemplation, all the Asians right there. <laughs> um now we just need to create. Now we actually need to, we things have been brought back to the awareness, you know, of whatever this situation is. And I feel, you know, as if this is saying that someone possibly needed to, um, needed to kind of mature, you know, in some ways, needed to mature in some ways instead of jumping the gun, so to speak. Um, maybe not really being hot headed, but maybe just being a bit uh immature, you know, in some ways. So it's pretty much someone just needing to kind of grow up a little bit, or maybe just during this time of reflection, as I said right here, during this mode of retreating and healing and kind of looking at things differently. Now, this is just saying how someone is really taking inventory of everything that they have and how they're able to utilize that instead of um, utilizing it for their growth, instead of utilizing it to, um, to their advantage. And when I say to their advantage, they use it to their advantage, but then they place others at a disadvantage right there. And that's where the immaturity uh, part comes in. I feel as if that's what I was picking up right there. So pretty much using what they got to create their own realities, being very aware of their actions and being very aware that they need to kind of check themselves as well sometimes too. So possibly whatever this conversation or whatever this interaction is that is going to happen, when they're in this mode of just reflecting and looking back, as I said, maybe thinking about um, the words that someone said to them, now they're able to kind of see how their actions had an impact or how they have been having an impact. So they're realize this is pretty much someone realizing that, okay, I'm kind of creating a little bit of the mess or a little bit of the drama, <laughs> you know, so to speak right there. Um, Let's see. Okay, we'll take it. It was left on the um, bottom of the deck when I picked the deck of cards. That's forgiveness. So as I said, this very well could be some kind of conversation or something that needs to take place. But the thing is, um, and I, I, it's so interesting that I said someone needs to grow up a bit and maybe just being a bit immature. And we have like the little baby that's being comforted by the uh, rhinoceros. So, so look at that, even just that imagery, you know, this uh, kid right here who's cuddled up to this um, big, gigantic animal, but this animal is being very gentle and loving towards it. So whoever needs to have this conversation or whoever needs to speak about something, they're dragging their feet. I feel as if they think that they're going to get um, their head chopped off or that they're going to... That's why they're that's why they're taking so long, you know, with this. They feel as if they're um they're gonna be attacked <laughs> in some way, uh, right there. So they're just um they're trying to delay, delay the inevitable, as I said. But forgiveness is right here on the table. So I don't feel as if it will be as bad 
as someone thinks it would be. Isolation, as I said, just kind of needing to be in that mode of retreating, um, maybe later on after this conversation, or this person could very well, whoever this is, they could be in a mode of isolation right now, but perseverance. So we keep on moving, we keep on pushing, no matter what. Um, no matter what the conversation is, no matter what the results of the conversation is, we cannot stop our flow. We cannot stop our go for anybody else or anything else. So that is your reading right there. Maybe I'll come back and I'll do another one, but I did just want to do like a little short general reading. Although my readings are never really short right there because here we go at almost 30 minutes. But anyway, I like to talk apparently. I hope you like to listen. But anyway, you all take care. God bless you. Stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.